Okay, so um, we are again. We're on page. We're with page, page three hundred eighty-two. Going to talk about how to find the perimeter and area of these two different sections of garden. So, well, I just remember if so. I'm starting off with perimeter. If my top is six, my bottom is six. This left side is five. That side is five. So to find the perimeter of that, I just have to add them up. Well, six plus six is twelve. Five plus five is ten. I got six plus six, twelve. Five plus five, ten. And I can just add it up. Two plus zero is two. One plus one is two. Okay, so that's a perimeter of corn. Then I have to do the squash. Well, the top is six. The bottom is six. Left side is three. My right side is three. Six plus six is twelve. Six plus six is twelve. Three plus three, six. Add them up. Two plus six is eight. One plus nothing is one. Then I just have to add both of these up. 22 plus 18, because I have my 22 for corn, 18 for squash. 2 plus 8 is 10. Going to carry my 1 up. 1 plus 2. 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 4. So my perimeter is 40 meters. Okay. So 40 meters, but you can check against my work here. Okay, so I'm going to just get rid of um, a few of these things here so I can do the area part now for you. Remember, area is just length times width. So I can just take length times width. So 6 times 5 equals 30. Then we do length times width. So that's just 6 times 3 equals 18. And it's to find the area together, 30 plus 18, 0 plus 8 is 8, and 3 plus 1 is 4. So 48 is my area. Square meters, 48 square meters. Those are the two answers. Check them against yours, and you can even just look at my area of work there also. Okay, next problem here. So, um, when you get so when you when you're when you're ready, you well make sure you submit before you go to the next one. Submit page three hundred eighty two to Schoology. Now I'm going to go to page 383. On page 383, you are not doing number 10. So you can cross off number 10. So both part A and part B. You are doing number 11, though. The thermometer shows the temperature at 3 o'clock p.m. What temperature does the thermometer show in degrees Fahrenheit? So I just need to know what's the temperature. You can't see this. This is 70, 80, 90, 100. And for these thermometers, I can see why well, that if that's, I'll start down here at 70. It's a little blurry, but that'd be 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, right there in the middle. 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. Okay, so... That I just have to figure out what's the temp what's the temp temp temperature in Fahrenheit. And I should also point that to remember, uh, thermometers, they have a Fahrenheit side and a Celsius side. You're doing Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. And so you're just measuring where does the where does that red line go? And then number eleven, word problem. At two o'clock AM, it is predicted that the temperature will be sixteen degrees lower. What's the predicted temperature in degrees Fahrenheit for 2 a.m.? So for number 11b, take this answer, and it says the temperature will be 16 degrees lower. So I have to think, is that going to be plus 16 or minus 16? But you can come back and check your answer for number 11 on page 383. Um, show any work that you need to show. Um, but remember, any questions, always ask me. But do your work before you come back and check it.